There was some pretty interesting news for Adobe Illustrator in Adobe Max 2022. There's some really nice improvements, some new features, and some really cool stuff to try out. So I'm really excited to share these top five things coming to Adobe Illustrator from Adobe Max. Before we dig in, remember to check out Envato Elements, especially if you're a creative professional. It's genuinely an awesome resource for templates, stock photos, fonts, and a lot more. It has super simple commercial licensing too. Check out the link in the description to get started. Also, if design tutorials, insights, and all kinds of other art and design topics are up your alley, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now let's take a look at Adobe Illustrator and these new features. Number one, share for review. So a lot of my illustration or design work tends to have a collaborative aspect. Whether I need to share something with a team or a client, sharing is typically a pretty big part of the process. Well, now we have Share for Review, an option right here within Illustrator. We can find this by going to the File menu and then choosing Share for Review. Or we can click the Share button in the upper right-hand corner over here. All we have to do is select Share for Review. Then Illustrator will give you a link that you can share with others. We have the option to adjust our permissions here too, so anyone who has the link can view, or we can limit this to specific viewers that we've invited. Here's what it looks like in a browser window when you've opted to share your work for review. This could be wonderful for sharing and collecting comments all in one place. I could definitely see myself using this feature in my workflow. Number two, easily copy and paste between Illustrator and InDesign. So if your workflow is anything like mine, you're probably using multiple members of the Adobe Creative Cloud family at the same time. Well, now sharing content between Illustrator and InDesign has gotten a lot friendlier. Check out what we can do now. I have this content here in Illustrator. I can just select it, copy it, and then jump over to InDesign. All I need to do is paste. Isn't that cool? And alternatively, we can go the other way around really easily too. I'll copy this content here from InDesign and follow the same process. It's just select, copy, and then jump back to Illustrator. Then I can just paste, and that's it. Simple and sweet. I love additions like this. Number three, overlapping objects with intertwine. This is actually one of my favorite new features from Adobe Max, and that's across all of the Adobe software that I use. Intertwine makes it easier to make your artwork overlap in different ways, and it's a simple process too. Let's take a look together. So here I have two pretty simple shapes. They're layered like you'd think they'd be, one on top of the other. Let's begin by selecting them both. And then we'll go to Object, Intertwine, Make. Now I want to use the Lasso tool here to select the area that we'd like to alter. I'm going to select this part of the shape. Rather than simply being on top of the other shape, I want it to look like this one part wraps behind the other one. And just like that, part of my stroke here is wrapping behind the other shape. This was visually possible in Illustrator before, of course, but this just makes it so much easier and it has so many fun possibilities. Number four, improved performance with multi-linked PNG files. Who doesn't like improved performance? With this latest update, opening and loading multiple linked PNG files within Adobe Illustrator has been improved, and that's a big deal. Let's give this a quick spin. For reference, I've got my links panel open here, which you can find under Window, Links. Let's go to File, Place, and I'll choose a handful of PNG images to place into my Illustrator document. I'm not necessarily importing them, but rather just placing them, so they are link dependent, just like you'd see in something like InDesign. I'll just click to place them, and pretty painless, right? Easy to place, easy to browse. Here's to improved performance. Number five, quick actions for automated workflows. This is another feature I was pretty curious about. We can open up our quick actions via the Discover panel. We find that by going to this little magnifying glass up here at the right-hand side of the software. Then we want to go to the Browse section down here and choose Quick Actions. We get a bunch of different quick actions here to choose from. I've already set some sample text here, so let's try out one of the text effects. I'll choose the Neon Glow text effect. It's just as simple as selecting my text and then clicking on Neon Glow text effect. Just like that, Illustrator has applied this effect for me. I can click here within the Discover panel to open up my Properties or the Appearance panel. I think it's a pretty cool addition, and I hope more quick actions are added in the future. So which of the new features added to Adobe Illustrator are you most excited about? Was there something else from Adobe Max that really got your attention? Let us know and make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. You can also click the notification bell so you never miss out on new design content. I'm Daisy Ein, thanks so much for watching and happy designing!